Good morning. This is Around the House with Kay and Tom. This morning I am going to fix some meatballs. And we're going to use Sweet Baby Ray barbecue sauce. Grape jelly. I just happen to have Welch's. And we're going to use some Heinz chili sauce. Very simple. Not a whole lot to it. So what we're going to do is we first off we're going to mix up our sauce and then we'll put it meatballs in it. So what you need, you're going to need a cup barbecue sauce. I had a little bit left over in another container that I put in here. Let's see. And you can actually mix it into another bowl, but I do not see any sense in that because it's all going to be in this one pot anyway. I'm using a crock pot. So what we'll do, we'll just take this barbecue sauce, pour it in the crock pot. We're going to take a cup of Welch's grape jelly. Let's just stir it up just a little bit. And we'll use a fourth of a cup of Heinz chili sauce. Ooh, that came out real easy. Let's see what I got. Well, I can't believe that. I've got exactly one fourth of a cup of Heinz chili sauce. We're going to put that in there. And all you have to do is just stir it up. Get it blended together a little bit. And we're going to use Italian style meatballs that go around. And you can use just ever how many meatballs you want. They are frozen. I'm not uh, thawing them up or anything like that. I'm just going to put them in the pot and I'm just going to put a few in there at a time and stir them up. Make sure that they are coated real good. Because I definitely do not want the whole bag when it's just me here. If you were going to have a party, I would say just use the whole bag. This happens to be five pounds of meatballs, and I probably used two pounds of the meatballs in my pot right now. I've got them all coated. Make sure you can see that, I hope. And as your grape jelly and all gets hot and it will melt, then all you have to do is put your lid on. And we're going to cut it on high. And when it gets hot, and the meatballs um, get done. They are with it not done when it gets hot because the meatballs are fully cooked. And we will be ready to eat them. They're good over noodles or rice. A lot of I've heard of people putting it over cream potatoes. So not sure yet what I'm gonna use them with, but I do know we're going to have meatballs tonight. And again, this is Around the House with Kay and Tom. This is such a simple, simple recipe. And it usually takes about two hours for the meatballs to thaw up and get hot. And we'll come back and check in just a little bit. Okay, this is Around the House with Kay and Tom again. Okay, my uh, meatballs have been cooking down for about two hours. 
So let's just see what we have got. Oh, they really look good. So we're going to put some in a bowl. Let you see what they look like. Like I say, I don't know yet what I'm going to fix with go with this, but I know that it is good with spaghetti, noodles, even down to rice. So let's see what they look like. Oh yes, they're definitely done. Well, they were already done because they were pre-cooked. So all we've got to do now is fix something to go with them. And I know garlic toast is good with them. And again, this is nothing but meatballs, Italian meatballs, grape jelly. I use um, Baby Ray's barbecue sauce because I happen to like it. But you can use any kind you like. And you use Heinz chili sauce. This is good for an appetizer. It's good for just for a meal. And again, Around the House with Kay and Tom, please subscribe to my channel and come back to see me. Have a real good day.